Hi, Gemini. It's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. So let's go ahead and jump into it, Gemini. Thank you, Lord God, for blessing the Gemini with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so let's see what's going on for my Gemini. All right, what's the present situation for Gemini? Present situation for Gemini this week. What's the present situation for Gemini this week? Present situation for Gemini this week. All right, there we go. The three wands. All right. Present situation, enterprise, commerce. Haven't done the work, waiting for the return. Could be waiting for packages to come to you. Uh, in terms of your business or business opportunity or you're waiting for something to be returned. You put something out there and you're waiting for it to come back to you so that you can go on to the next step. This could be in terms of real estate too. I don't know, like I'm hearing like offers or something's getting out there, putting something out there, putting something together. Um, it says uh, taking the long view, the uh, making plans for your future. With the three of wands here. It says uh, expansion. Again, enterprise. Making something big, global. If if you will. Um, inventor. Inter innovator. You're putting it out there. And you're just waiting for the return of it. Because it's going to be so much uh, talk or speculation about um, this could be a creative endeavor or project. This is a passion project also. Um, you could be waiting for someone's uh, return or arrival. Or the, arri the arrival of something. You could be waiting for communication to come into you. Someone could live far from you. They could travel to you. Again, arrival coming up. Um, what's the influence for this week for my Gemini influence for Gemini okay um, the influence is the fool card leap of faith stepping out there um, oh, I heard balls to the wall okay I don't know what y'all doing <laughs> but okay um, definitely jumping in you know head first here uh, a new development, a new beginning, a new relationship, a new business, just new beginnings all together. Um, no strings attached. Maybe even, you know, um, one night stands or carefree, carefree connections, carefree relationship. Again, no strings attached. Um, letting it all hang out. Understanding that this you can write the story here. This is your new life, or this is the new you, or the new norm here. I don't want to hear that. The full card could be dealing with Aquarius. Something about starting over. Aquarius, Aries, starting over, starting new. Let's go in this direction. That's a new development. Let's develop something else. We've already done that thing over there. Uh, again, innovator being innovative uh, an inventor I don't know what's the challenge for this week the ace of swords and the six of cups wanted to come out together the challenge is being calculated surrounding maybe child matters or children or childish energy or refraining from conversation that turns into argument due to someone's inability to uh, have a mature conversation, an adult-like conversation. Um, being calculated in your thoughts also. Um, getting the absolute truth of something, absolute clarity. Your mind is sharp, it's on fire, it's clear. Sobriety, you know, sober living. Um, I don't know why I'm getting that. Um, you could be 
understanding how somebody's mind or their emotions are working or what they're doing. Could be a Scorpio. Some of you could be working on new music or something of that nature. New music. Wanting to take the leap of faith. Put it out there. Your mind is sharp in terms of dealing with some someone person a person that you have a particular history with or you grew up with or you knew when you were younger you guys could be together now um someone that you've been with through childhood um you may have children with them the ace of swords says that i mean getting an absolute um raw thought surrounding this connection i mean it's your mind is sharp it's clear your mind is so clear that it's causing conflict in in connection with this person. You used to feel like you could um, deal with them or level with them or um, you were tolerant of something. But now it's to a point where um, you see clearly you almost have to cut something out or cut it off. Maybe that somebody is just um, over the top childish, um, hurtful. I don't know. Let's see what the final outcome is here for you, Gemini. This is like when you have a conversation with someone and you just realize that it's going nowhere fast. This person is childish. They need to grow up. They're not taking any responsibility. There is an inability to be mature or to have a mature conversation with this person. They don't see it your way. You don't see it theirs. It's, it's time to cut your losses here. I don't think you can rest on the fact that, you know, the historical value of the connection anymore. Like, oh, we've been together for so long and we've known each other for so I I just think it's to a point where you just, you can't even make that your only reason for staying or dealing with or tolerating. What's the final outcome? Yeah, the Queen of Cups. It looks like you're just going to really go into your cocoon and try to develop yourself. Um, your psychic abilities also you could be working with crystals water um, you could be near water um, you're just really trying to be um, better emotionally you're trying to maintain um, your emotional stability in terms of dealing with um, particular person place or thing um, you give good advice at this point um, if you give good advice and you can hear people out and you can be the listening ear it's because you're not attached to the outcome. Um, you don't care if they take the advice or not. You gave it. What they do with it is what they do with it. Um, the Queen of Cups is, she may be coming off as self-centered right now. This could be you. I'm just the final outcome. Um, but it's not more self-centered. It's, it's maybe self-preservation. Um, it's self-dedication. And it's development. You understand that in order for you to do this thing, in order for you to make it happen, in order for you to maintain your emotional stability and your sobriety and your um, mental health, you have to uh, really walk away from some things that just don't serve you. Walk away from some people, not engage, um, disengage. Your cup is closed. You don't need any love. Um, you just need to maintain the love that you have. You don't need anything destabilizing you. It looks like someone does that perfectly. They know what buttons to push. They know where to take you. What is the theme or the lesson, the reason for all this? The theme for this week for my Gemini. The theme. The Four of Pentacles. Okay, so um, possessiveness. Dealing with some deep-seated issues, childhood trauma, uh, grudges. Uh, again, that type of possessive love that comes from fear. Fear-based energy. I don't know if there's someone holding on to you or holding on to the connection out of fear. Um, or vice versa, this is what you're doing. But uh, the theme is needing to learn to let go um expand your horizon your mindset um do the work and allow what is for you to come on come back to you if it's for you or allow for your manifestation powers to work for you um trust the process here with the fool card 
understand that you don't just have to tolerate um, and understand that you're at you're a place of clarity. So you could be tolerating someone and understand that you just need to preserve yourself in your emotional state of being. Because um, someone could be holding on to you, maybe because you have money or you have this newfound wealth or there is stability with you. Um, there's, there is home or foundation with you. Um, they could be clinging to you. Uh, but it's a, tux, it's a toxic, stuck situation uh, because there's no growth. It's just this. It is what it is. Especially if there is a third party situation or where someone is married or couple. This is the fullness of the connection, the Four of Pentacles. Um, it can't grow beyond this. Um, and I think you're seeing that someone's trying to dominate you or. Um, you know, overly exert themselves or their will on you or what what um what they want for themselves. They want you to want that same thing. Let's um leave Gemini with a card of advice this week. What's the advice for Gemini this week? The Nine of Pentacles. All right, so you got two cards that really just talk about self, self care, self love, self preservation, and developing the self. The advice is just for you to maintain your autonomy, maintain yourself, get to a place of absolute independence and stability. Um, know that you have all that you need to thrive. Um, right now is not a time for intimate connection intimate is not just always sexual but vulnerable uh, close uh, soul bearing connections you don't need it right now because you've got to work on you you've got to work on your emotional state of, of being you can't take on anyone else's right now so um, you could be keeping people outside of your home, your home and your heart. You could be just keeping relationships at bay. You you just you might just want sex only and no intimacy. You have all that you need, and right now you're just trying to cultivate a better you. Some of you could be delving into spirituality because you have time to do it now because you're not in the rat race for money for uh, maintaining yourself so now you have time to develop it says that um spirituality is grounded in monetary a strong monetary foundation so it says basically you can't be concerned about spirituality and what is life and asking those questions if you don't have any money because you need to be focused on bringing in money work but you're at a place where you can focus on you know um, aspirations of the um of what the elite or what the the well-to-do what they are concerned with because you you've done the work you have the resources to do so um There may be a breakdown in the close connection right now. I think uh, both of you are not seeing eye to eye. There's a power struggle. You guys need to work on negotiation. If, it, if you want to make it work, there has to be negotiation. It has to be compromise. It has to be a plan. Um, you, you have to um, know what you're doing. If you do come back together, it says that reconciliation reunion is on the table soon. Um, but it, it will only just be reconciliation and reunion if you don't have a plan. You'll just reconcile and then it'll probably be the same thing and break up again. So, But you have to know what you're doing in terms of dealing with a particular person, place, or thing, or coming back together. This is the reading for you this week, Gemini. I hope that it gave you a bit of clarity. If it did, go over to the website, book your reading there, take advantage of the text question where you can text a question to the number below pay for your question receive the answer to your question on your mobile device you can also donate to the channel 
by clicking the buy me a coffee link. Thank you, Gemini. Many blessings to you. Take care.